Hello there. Alrighty, I'm coming on because when I made these cards, then I had quite a few people asking about the background, the tissue background, and how I made it. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Alrighty, so you need a piece of tissue paper. And this one is white. The one that I started with here was actually a light blue tissue paper. So um, this one is white, so it's going to look a little different, but I made it the same exact way. All right, so what you're going to do is, actually, I think I'm going to cut this in half because it's kind of big. There, because I don't need that much. All righty, so what you're going to do is you're going to squish it all up, crunch it up, and roll it in a ball. So I've crunched it up in a ball. And then you're going to open it up and there then you're going to take whoops i should probably roll my sleeves up all righty then you're going to take ink pad come on all right it's not going to help me today huh and you just kind of run it along there Get the color on. Okay. Then we're going to take it and we're going to crunch it up again. Open it up again. Then we can take the next color, which is a little bit darker blue this time. And just do a little bit. You don't want to do a lot this, with the second color. Okay. Then we're going to take it and we're going to crunch it up again. And I like to do an accent color. I like to do a light, light and dark of the same color. Where's the shiny side? This is the shiny side. The shiny side, I like to rub on, so I'll rub it open so that way the ink doesn't get on my fingers. All right, the flat side is where I'm putting the ink. All right, and then I like to use a, another little color just to kind of add some little bit of highlights in there. Just a couple little streaks here and there. And there you go. Alrighty, and that is how you make the paper. Isn't that cool? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and, let's see, I guess I could do probably four out of this. Take this and this, and we're gonna cut this in half and we'll get, end up getting four sheets out of this. Turn these over all the same direction. We're going to need four background pieces. Let's see. Four, one, two, three, four. That'll do. All righty. Okay. And, oh, let's see. You can either put the sheet, if you have the double stick paper, you can stick on that, or you can do glue, or you can do glue stick. I kind of like to use the glue stick or the, sh the double stick sheets. So, but just get glue all over it. Make sure you get all along the edges. Okay, then you're gonna take a piece and now I can turn it over and keep the glossy side up because then when I'm touching it, it won't show or I can leave it on this side. Either one. You know what? Maybe I'll do two up and two down. That's a good idea. But what you do is you put it, you settle it in the middle and then you're going to kind of squish it in towards the middle and fit it all on here.
Oh, that's real sticky. That's not letting me slide it on there at all. Come on, a little bit more. Because you want crinkles in it. All right, this one, wow. You should be able to fit the whole thing on there if you do it right, but this paper is really weird. It's not wanting me to do that. So I'm gonna force it on the next piece probably because I put the shiny side up. So let's do it shiny side down now. Alrighty, let's do this again. Get that glue all over. There, that's better. Alrighty, and now I'm gonna force it and I'm gonna use the shiny side down this time. Alrighty. So, and I'm gonna force it on there too. Squish it on. That's better. All right, that's what I was hoping to do with it. Pull that, slide that on. Yep, and that's sliding so much better too. And if it tears, that's okay. Just maneuver it over anyways. You can always cover up the tears. And if you have a spot like here, it's moved over, that's okay. I can just take some of this and move it over here and stick it right on there. And that'll be okay. There, and these lighter spots over here. We can put this darker stuff on. Use all those little bits and pieces up. <laughs> You're not going to go on there for me, huh? There. That looks better. All right, I'm gonna do another one. And that's how I made it. Just squish it up like that. And if you're making water, and that's what I like to use this for, is I love to use it for water. Then if you can find the light blue paper, tissue paper, that works really good. But as you can see, the white works pretty good too. And you can always go back too. And once it's dried, you can add a little bit more ink on if you need to. That's a really good one. All righty. Turn it over and rub that down. That one looks really cool. The more crumpled up they are, the better they look, I think. All right, get all that glue up. Same thing. <laughs> My fingers are getting real, real colored now. Oh, there's a lot of white. I don't want all that white on there. I'm gonna try to let that hang off. Let that blue show instead. Yes. Very, very good. 
All right, so now we can wipe this off. fingers off too. <laughs> All right. Much better. All righty. And then we can just trim these sides off. Having that little accent color is really pretty. Haven't made one of these in a while, so that's kind of good that you requested that I show you how to make it. You do have to mess with it a little bit and just kind of not be afraid to fold it over itself. And, I, and I'm saving these because, not this piece, but these darker pieces, if there's any lighter pieces, then I can glue those on. There's a few spots on here, so that's good. There we go. Okay, now there's, that's all covered up good. This one has a little bit of whiteness on that side, so I'm gonna darken that up a little bit. Bye, let's put this piece on. That'll work. Whoops. There we go. All right, let that dry, except for there's a little line that you can see right there, and I'm not liking that. Oh, here's a good piece. Come on, let go of my finger. That's better. All right, there. This one has a few spots on here. And see it, you can just kind of paste it together like I'm doing, just kind of fit it together. There, and then just let that dry. Just this one little corner over here. Very good. Now we can just go ahead and go back and trim them. And then we can throw the excess away. All right, this just needs to be finished being glued down.
there. Good, good, good. I think that just needs to be trimmed off. And that looks pretty good. This one, a little bit here. <laughs> it's just sticky to everywhere. And the, the thickness in different spots, it adds to the texture. I like the way it looks like that. Nice. All righty, and then this just corner needs to be trimmed up and oh that looks much better all right so now I can clean this up find that lid put these in the garbage come on let go of my finger <laughs> let go let go look at my fingers are still stuck <laughs> Don't breathe. Don't breathe out. There. That's better. Okay. Get it off of my fingers. Alrighty. Very good. So now we are set. We have four panels that we can use on cards. Isn't that neat? So let me bring it up closer so you can see what they look like. That looks like waves, like ripples in the water. Isn't that cool? So that easy. Just pick a light and a dark color, and then one little accent color, and that's all you need. Or, like when I did this one, then I didn't need the two colors because it was already light blue. So I just used, I actually did use these two colors, this, this darker blue, and then I used the purple. So just a little bit of purple in there, and I'll hold that up closer so you can see. So see the little bits of purple in there? That's pretty cool. Alrighty. So I hope you like this idea, and you'll give it a try. Next time you get a piece of tissue paper, and it doesn't matter if it's torn, as you can see, because you can fit pieces right on top of the holes. No problem. So when you're, when you're at a party, especially with your family, then say, save the tissue for me, because you can use all that tissue paper. It can definitely be recycled. So, and until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.